P.F. Sloan first recorded with his surf band, The Fantastic Baggies. In 1965, he made his first solo album, Songs of Our Times. The album contained Eve of Destruction, which became a worldwide mega-hit for Barry Maguire. Take Me For What I'm Worth, an international success for The Searchers and Sins of the Family. P.F. Sloan's second album, 12 More Times, released in 1966, contained three hit songs, including Let Me Be, which was a big success for the Turtles. And right now, a guy that's still here, 43 years after the success, P.F. Sloan, nice to see you. Well, it's good to be here. <laughs> nice to see you, nice young, to man. See you young man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get out of this bar. I've been here for 43 years. It's a lovely bar. They make wonderful margaritas, let me tell you. Yes. Very yes. nice. Yes. Well, well, you'll be familiar with this place anyway. Well, yes, I am. Yeah, they, they, they have exquisite shrimp. They do, and the, yes. the margaritas are to die for. Yes. They're very big and yummy. Yes. Well, you guys from Australia, all you drink is beer. You come to Los Angeles, you know, and it's like you discovered margaritas, I guess. Yeah, they keep flowing. It's just never-ending. Yeah. The last 40 years, how has music changed, say, for yourself? Well, I wish there was something positive to say in that regard. I mean, I'm generally an upbeat, positive soul. Um, I mean, I, I think that uh, what we're witnessing is, is uh, basically the implosion and destruction of, of, of the music business as, we, as, as it was known. Not that it was a positive entity, but it was an entity that, that we were used to. Uh, you know, just for people that aren't that, you know, involved in the business aspect of it, there was distribution of how to get the music into your store and you'd buy it and you'd listen to it. Um, that doesn't exist anymore, at least in most places. There aren't any stores anymore. I think the main point which I'd like to give Bob Leffitz credit for uh, is that there is no culture of music anymore. Uh, there was a time and, uh, and I'm paraphrasing what he said, and I, I really agree with it. Uh, there was a time when, when we were involved in a culture of music. It, it was important uh, to hear this new album by Pink Floyd. Uh, it was important to hear uh, certain certain bands. Uh, you became, they became your north star. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore. You can't go on a major television show and try and create a culture. You know, they're they're talking about Guns and Roses. I you know I, I don't want to get into personal things, but you know, going on television shows and promoting your music is is not is not selling music. And uh, basically, uh, I've witnessed the loss of the culture, the excitement of someone who speaks from their heart and soul and consciousness and raises yours vis-a-vis. Uh, -vis, you know, going back a ways. You know, but people would understand Elvis Presley or. The Beatles or the Stones or Procol Harum or the Beach Boys or blah blah blah. I'm not trying to say 60s groups were saying. There was 70s and 80s group Farner and and on and on and on. Uh, but the, the culture is gone. That's all. It doesn't exist.